I'm calling upon every young man in this nation who disagrees with tax increment, who disagrees with the high cost of living, we meet at the Kenyan National Parliament on Tuesday from 9. Watch a Kiumani. Because it is not getting any better, it will not get any better. Watoto wameanza kutaxi kwa shule. I want to tell the president of this nation that we are bringing a revolution to your doorstep. Do what you can do. Do your best. Ipeleko children's home. Si tuende tulale huko tukule chakula ya serikali. Jua kuna huku inja kuna chakula. Ni vile sasa ni merealize ni kuna watu. Mm. Eh, Siyezi wapeleka huko ndani. Mi, mi nilikata kulipa truth. Nisema sita lipa 170. Mm. So it, it can help somewhere else. Mm. Wata nende huko indape ni kuna huko. At least kuna mpilesa kulala, kuna rent, kuna steamer, na kuna chakula. So tumekuwa na meeting defu hapo. Anambeli kwa pana. Eh, we lipa tuto. Okay, tuende tu. Uh, tufanya shukuli zingine kwa shafa fanya kazi yake ya yeah? so uh, to answer your question yes tumelipa na sasa tuko free mm, orada hawa wako free mm. uh -huh. mm. okay what about yourself mimi uh, nataka kusema kwamba tumekuwa na safari ndefu sana tumeandamana tumechikwa that's why tuko hapa kwa jela serikali ya rais Ruto alituahidi vitu mingi ajafanya hata moja alituambia akiweka biblia chini unga itaenda chini kuna clip na trend akisema kwamba uh, tax zitaenda chini akisema kwamba mafuta zitaenda chini alikuwa amevangua ya white akisema mkitupatia chance na tukingia serikali itakisha mama mboga na huyu mtu wa boda boda atakuwa na serikali na huyu sana sana mtu wa boda boda sasa jana usiku wameongeza fuel wameongeza fuel jana usiku mimi as eric mondi nikikaa pale ndani nilikuwa na sira and uh, i want to make a decision today once and for all nimechoka kushikwa nimechoka kufungwa we are going to start a revolution from this tuesday i'm calling upon every young man in this nation who disagrees with tax increment who disagrees with the high cost of living we meet at the kenyan national parliament on tuesday from 9 watch akiumani because it is not getting any better, it will not get any better. Watoto wameanza kutaxi kwa shule. I want to tell the president of this nation that we are bringing a revolution to your doorstep. Do what you can do. Do your best. Enough is enough. Those were your own words when you are uh, campaigning. Enough is enough is what you said when you are standing there ukifanya debate. And I'm telling you, Madam President, enough is enough. And I keep saying that one day. Because I'm a comedian, nobody ever listens to me. One day, you will realize that we have 55 million Kenyans, and there are less than 2,000 government officials in this nation. I am telling you, this coming Tuesday, I'm calling upon every young person, every Kenyan, mama mboga, boda boda, wake up well kwa boda boda yako, to part the parliament. Because if we do not stop it, something else will happen next week. I keep saying it. If we do not stop it, something else will happen next month. In another pole pole too. Pole pole mafuta ta imongezo na 21 shillings. I want to tell the Kenyan government, we will say that word you fear us to say. Revolution is coming your way from this Tuesday. Mutuwe, mutuzike. Venye mulisema, mambo ni matatu, tumechagua binguni, mutupeleke binguni. Chukua yu atatu. It is not acceptable. We will not allow it. And if you are listening to me and you are a young person, enough is enough. No government unapprutable. It is constitutional. The people have the power. If you do not listen to the voice of the majority who put you in that office, Trudy, enough is enough. He Tuesday, tunakuja kwenye nyumba ya wetangula, atuambie, amepanga aje. Kaila, how old is my daughter? Hata janza shule, asha taxi wa swimming pool. My daughter, Kaila, will not walk. Trudy, I promise you, if Mungai, mtoto wangu ata tembea, vanyo mtoto ula anku tembea, I will not allow a tembea in this nation na hizi taxes nenda juu. Okay, uh, of course, we've seen you do this. So yes. It's not going to be the first or yes. the second time. We've yes. done it over and over again. Yes. And nothing happens, actually. Yes. The only thing that happens is we see you arrested, yes. mnashikuwa na watu, yes. unatoka. Like, yes. imekuwa tu mazoea. What is yes. going to be different Ma this coming Tuesday? It has Tuesday? to be different if I agree with you. When you do something the same way over and over again, you cannot get any different results. Yeah. 
and you're right. Uh, this time it must be different. That's why I'm not afraid to use the word revolution. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that will help us. It will never change. Eriko Mondi uh, protesting, Eriko Mondi arrested, Eriko Mondi released, Eriko Mondi, it's the same, same, old, old, same, old. And every time I go to demonstrate, apart from these guys, I always go alone. I always go alone. Nikienda kupayana unga kwa peke yangu. Nikienda kujonga kwa nikiwa kisumu peke yangu. For the very first time, I'm going to call upon other young people. You know you are reading newspapers. You know what happened last night. What were boda boda. Nini no munenda kwa shell na rubies na ola. Munajua penye na wauma. We must stop this now. It will get, it will only get. The dalili ya mvua ni ile tu mawingu. Emekua tu kipanda, kipanda. Finance bill ilipitishwa. Juzi tumewana Moses Kuria. Akituambia ati he has time to end the yeah, Akidanganya on national kudos citizen. God bless you. May God bless citizen. Wali pale tu wakaenda nae. Akidanganya ati mafuta ni 230. Wakasema usama gituko wasema let's go to Eldoret live kwa supermarket. 347. During Uhuru's government kulikuwa na shida moja. Kama ni fuel ni fuel tuna deal nayo. Kama ni eh, stima hii ya government ya Rais Ruto ni stima ni mafuta ya kupika, mafuta ya gari. Hii bado ni eh, watoto wanataka ni every tax. Tax, yani kuna article nilikuwa nasoma jana wana tax every single thing. So if to answer your question, I cannot do it alone. We are going to rally, we are going to call upon young people and old if they want to join us. The only way they will listen is if we join and unite and say no. And the place is parliament. Hapo ndo wanapitishanga in finance bill. We are coming there when a speaker we tangu. The last time we came na hawa, ukatushika. Sasa tukuje, we ufanye. We tushike, we we tupeleke binguni. Do, do, do your, your worst. Because mimi ni kuna mtoi wakulea maze. Saizi lina konyumbani tena ni, and ni call, bebu naenda siju na fungo wanma, nambu ya pana natoka. Hata nienda mefanyo ni toke. We have things to do. Penye loa mesema. Mini kuna komedi ya kuchekesha watu, ni kuna mtoto wakulea. Suwezi shindanga ati nandamana na shiku. We must, we must have one solution. Once na ikuwapo parliament. Tupatane parliament Tuesday. Nine. Uh, sasa tuende tukiendanga. So, Eric, tunajua, in whatever someone does, of course, kuna, either tutashikuwa ama kuna kitu tutafanyua. Mm, but you, you promised kuwa uh, jumto ya mekuja utajipatia three months mm. break mm. before ingie kwa hizi story tena. Mm. And then to ask the second question, inye watu wamekuwa kiuliza sana, that where do you get time to spend with your family because you always are out, uh, uko pale, uko hapa. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Unajua ukiambia watu, ati, ukiambia watu ati, ati, ndakuja, Ndarudi home next week. Kukiambia wife wako ndakuja home next week. Alafu wife akwambie, eh kuna nyoka menga kwa nyumba. Eh unakat everything ulisema, unakuja kutoa hiyo nyoka. So mi nilisema, ndachukua break ya three months. Mi, nikichukua break ya three months, mafuta ya kaenda juu. Unaget? <laughs> nikichukua break ya three months, steamer ya kapotea, pa! Nikichukua, so the mwona chukua break, ni kaila ndia naumia. Eh, the second question, it's a two fanya shift. Lila nafanya daytime, eh, mi nafanya usiku. Mufanya shift ya usiku. Eh, so, <laughs> mufika home, naoga. Kwa hiyo kweli, lina kineona na sema, ah, 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 ah. Chukua mtoti wako. So, wana suju, wana itanga jana pump, wana niachapo na mamaziwa. E, mina pika tu shift yote. Akia muka tiri yako niko wapo na ye. Akia muka niko wapo, asubui na wahepa. Kasa hizi niko wapa, nikitoka wapa naenda kuhoga na ingia shift. <laughs> eh, 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 kul, so, so silalangi. Kulala. Kulala ndio silalangi. <laughs> eh, Kulando sela langi ju tutala la binguni yoyo binguni ya President Ruto. Okay, and does this mean now you've shifted your attention from tumekuti kiona ukichangisha and everything, and now you're back to Mandamano? Yes, we're back. Mandamano is officially back. Listen to Eric Otieno Omondi. Mandamano is officially back from Tuesday. Tutaisukuma mbaka mu serikali mtu chike mtu weke ndani. Mukituacha inje ya tusma. Every time Eric Omondi yako inje, Mandamano is Ju, unajua hizi bitu zimeenda juu jumandamano ilienda chini. That's how governments work. Awa penyamaza, ongeza. Penyamaza, ongeza. Na unahuyo ni governor wa, wa nini? Wa Central Bank, I think, ni minister wa treasury. Ameendika vitu weird sana za kutaksu shule na watoi. Mm -hmm. So, mandamano is back. Mandamano is officially back. Mm -hmm. We are back to the streets. We are from Tuesday 9 a.m. 
huwa sisemangi ni nimechoma leo nimesema tunaenda parliament mm tunaenda parliament mm -hmm. eh, hizo tax watumie sasa pia vizuri kwa hizi kitu zingine okay what about your uh, fundraising program ilifika wapi uh, you had four days of fundraising uh, throughout watu walitaka kujua uh, pesa ilipatikana kama ilipatikana inatumika wapi number one, if me i believe hata muniambie nini kwa naambia watu wanasema ni story za jaba mabeste wangu i believe until the day it's doing it happen i believe stima ilipotea ile siku ilipotea juu kwa ndio kwa 50 million you cannot tell me anything i have my reasons kwa nini stima ijapotea jana na leo na last year na last week na last year but one na 10 years ago it i die happen alafu i went 17 minutes into my life 17 minutes stima ikapotea naona naona tu facebook imetoka from 3000 Jimmy can say, hey, government to hack. Facebook can end. Can say, hey, we start. I can start TV. From 2,300, it will come back to 500. It will come to 300. Can say, hey, Minister of ICT, government to hack. Can I get a call? Can I get a call? Can I get a comment? What about Bungoma? I can't steam. Steam my man. Steam. Do they knew the the only the power of that fundraising was people in Kitale, Bungoma, Kilifi sending one bob. So kwa kati ya stima huko Kenya yote ukikata stima hata Nairobi mimi nitaendelea na power bank e, na watu wako Bungoma watatuma ama watu wako Mombasa I believe because kwa nini stima ikupotea jana but why would they why, why would they do that cuz I believe the fundraising was about uh, kusaidia watu hiyo pesa ilifaisa watu bro. it's called sabotage the government health system is not working watu wanakufa na makansa na ma kidney failure hospital as you work hazina madawa So the moment the community raises 50 million because we believed tulikuwa napaka watu kutoka US I think wako na intelligence zao wanasikia ngama phone calls zangu eh so if the community can raise 50 million within one night then the community will expose their rot mimi nikichukua ile mtoi nipeleke India nikuo mama nipeleke Kenya ta chukua huyu ni watibu na expose the fact that how always ifanya hivyo so it exposes the government so the government comes and sabotages Hakuna venye hakuna venye mtaniambia hata wali, wali, wali choma wangengoja hata 3 hours hata hata midnight it was 17 minutes niliangalia hivi tulianza nika introduce nika nini nikaona kwa comments hakuna stima ianza ku trend Kenya Power KPLC nationwide you cannot convince me that stima ilipotea at juice juice kuna vitu zinaingilia zinaingishwa airport at this juice Kenya Power has never explained to today nothing was happening that friday it was only a recommendi for what was happening hakuna kitu kona happen hakukuwa na concert kubwa ya sauti sol hakukuwa na there was nothing happening in kenya go check your records it was only a recommendi there was no major event anywhere in any city apart from you so so it was sabotage and we might, we, might, we never managed to raise that 50 million nikajaribu the second time momentum chini nilikuwa nimelala tu hapo are we going to do it again or maybe your dreams are shattered My dreams can never be shattered and we're going to do it again we'll change strategy we'll go to that US we'll go to the UK we'll raise money tuna kuna shows tunafanya US hata naogopa kusema hizi vitu siku hizi tunafanya fundraising America na UK Australia na ingine pia tunafanya hapa kanivo na tuna work na corporates tuna work na friends we must raise the 50 million biju kuna watu tuli promise kuna demand to masi ako India ule nilimu expose mpaka ni meka nini yake Eh na na tutamsaidia. Kuna kuna huyu mtoi mudeu at least yeye anafanywa ni next next Thursday ali cancel India anafanywa Thursday anafanywa transfer. Kuna Laban from Nyeri alikuwa na kuwa na hat nini. Kulikuwa na wale watoto wa wa children so at least nenda kwao nikawafanyia kitu kadogo. So the people we promised. Yeah? So nyinyi kukata stima sijui mnafanya nini. But mimi ndio I'll repeat. Kenya Power ama Kenya Government walikata stima juu ya live yangu. Mimi naambia kitu najua. Mm. Eh, okay. there was no other thing. Uh, a few number of Kenyans uh, wanted to know uh, the how how is this money uh, the accountability? Hiyo pesa yote kichangwa. How will we know hii ilitumika hapa hii ilienda hapa? Pesa tunatumia. Sisi ni watu tunaelewa how the law life works. Mm. Tunaelewa baraka zetu na tumebarikiwa na pesa zetu. And uh, we will uh, account for every coin. And the best way to account for money is first to do what you said. Accounting sio tulikuwa na 50 million 300,000 ah the first accounting is kulikuwa na mtoto alikuwa na kidney. 
ameenda India ama amekuwa transferred kulikuwa na mtu wa heart transplant tukishafanya hizo hiyo ndio that is the first form of accountability is the ili kalifanya kitu alifanya wacha zile za kina bienza how much money how much money eh sasa zingine kuna watu walituma do wengine hapo hiyo uh, hiyo siku ya stima kupotea yeah kuna pia shon kuna hata tunataka kufungua eneo wa mkenya Mm. Kuna pesa itatumiwa ya, ya, ya kufungua tu yenu wa Mkenya na maofices na kuweka secretary hapo na kuweka daktari hapo na kuweka watu wana receive cases. Juu pia kuna watu wanaweza kudanganya anakupigia na kuambia ni mgonjwa na si mgonjwa. Mm. So this money will be accounted for. E, Tukifungua hiyo hizo offices kutakuwa na specialists, kutakuwa na office receptionist, natakuwa kuemplea madaktari hapo pana tuambia huyu huyu hapana, huyu ni anadanganya, huyu ako genuine. So the, your, your money will be accounted for and I need notice too unakumbuka nikianza na mambwembwe nilikuwa naenda Langata women's na toa watu naenda na Rubwes naenda Mombasa hiyo pewezi wezi hata ukue billionaire hata ukue wanjiga hata ukue Chris Kirubi pesa yako itaisha so nika realize eh enda sota na mimi sasa nilikuwa na likwana ball so nika realize na Zambia wa Kenya watume one bob na wanatumanga by the way wanatumanga sana and I think Gavana alikuwa anaona hiyo trajectory Eh well if wali nizimia stima kuna vitu mob sana wale kwa naona watu tuma do watu tu last time nilifanya fundraising ya mudeu nilikuwa niende mpaka midnight by 10 walikuwa wame raise 1.8 Nili, nilifunga vitu wangu nikaenda home Kenyan send money so we'll do it again they'll send again we'll fungua inua mkenya because hizi tunasema ni sisi kwa sisi